Hello adventure riders from around the world. In this video, I'm gonna show you what I have in my tank bag. Stay with me. Welcome back guys. The reason to make this video is because someone asked. Unfortunately, because of the numbers of comments I receive every day, I lost this guy. I'm really sorry, but I cannot find it. So, I'm gonna review a number of items. I will start with uh, my tank bag and then with all of my camera gear, what I use to make my videos, what I have in my uh, riding pockets and many more. Actually, there will be a number of video series describing everything I have with me. So, I think this will be a good reason to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Anyway, I'll start with my uh, tank bag. It is nothing special. The brand is uh, FAMSA from Italy. But actually, uh, the shape and the size of your tank bag depends really from your motorcycle. So uh, the one I use now, it's not with magnets, it's with, uh, with the straps. So actually, I attach it to the bike with these uh, uh, straps and Velcro because my tank is from plastic. But if you have a metal tank, you can use any bag. So the, the, any bag. So the bag, it doesn't really matter. It's just the place where I'm going to store all of my stuff. Okay, so the first question is going to be, I use it for what? Usually, I carry inside all of the necessary stuff or the stuff I need all the time, most of the time, or the things which are more expensive and I want to keep it on the safe position in my tank bag. As you know, guys, I'm not a fan of the top boxes and there are a number of reasons for that. The main is the weight. I always believe that the weight is matter. Even if my tank is about between four and five kilograms, it's still heavy, but it stay on my petrol tank and actually distribute the weight much better instead of having these five kilograms on my tail. Uh, detailed video about uh, this you can find somewhere in, in my channel. Okay, so this is the first reason I carry always a, a tank bag because everything I have inside you can easily store in your top box, no doubt. But the first reason I told you is the weight. The second reason is because of the map reading. I always carry a paper map with me and I want to be able to read it. And that's why I always purchase a, a tank bag with this uh, a transparent mirror here to be able to store my maps inside and read it while I write. The third reason is because it is handy. It is actually in front of my eyes all the time and I can take out something from inside even while you write. And also I can see it, as I said, I can see it all the time, which is mean it cannot just fall down from the bike. For, for example, if you have a top box, you might break it and lose it without even notice it. And if there is no one behind you, you, you will just not ever even feel it. This is the, the, the third reason. I want to see it all the time because all of my expensive stuff is inside. And the fourth reason is because I can take it with me when I walk around. Yeah, I'm sure when you have a top box, especially a metal top box, you can lock it and go around. But how secure is this lock? It's like nothing. It's like the lock, the locks you've got on your uh, post box uh, at home. So it's it's nothing. Okay. Ev everyone with this, just a simple tools could open it for a couple of seconds. So the reason I'm uh, using always tank bag is because I can take it with me. So guys, basically, these are the four reasons I carry tank bag instead of top box. Let's see what I have inside. All right, basically guys, this is everything I have with me on all of my trips. It fits perfectly on my tank bag and I'm gonna show you after I review all of this, I'll put everything in the tank bag and we'll show you where exactly it's going. All right, I'll start with this. This is actually the tank bag cover, rain cover. You can smash it like that, very small, and I keep it in one of the side pockets. I have my lucky hat. You have seen it before. It's from uh, Spain. I'm from Bulgaria, but I like it and I always have it with me in the tank bag. I have summer gloves. In the case I'm riding in the winter, I always keep a summer gloves with me like a spare. If I'm riding in the summer, I keep a winter gloves with me always, just in case I need it. I have also this uh, wind stopper. In the case it's get uh, 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 cold, it's the same. If I'm riding in the summer, I keep this in the case I need it. If I'm riding in the winter, I keep my summer in the case I need it. I also have this uh, medical gloves. Uh, the reason I always have it with me is because they weigh nothing, but they can make a significant difference in your riding comfort, especially if you ride in the cold 
and rainy days. What you do actually, you wear it under your gloves and they will protect you very, very well. I have tested this, tested these gloves many times and it's worked absolutely perfect. All right, I have my flashlight always. I don't need to explain you how useful this uh, gadget is. You should have it all the time. The battery lasts long and they're just perfect. Okay, in this green jar, funny jar, which is flexible, you can see, I have all of my cables, chargers, uh, SD card readers, and everything I'm gonna need on the road. You can see all the cables inside. And I really like this item. It's a present for me uh, from a friend of mine from Switzerland, and I really love it. And it has also light, and it has also this flashlight. You can have it for many purposes. You can drop it on the street and leave it on the flashing mode in the case you want to warn someone during the night if you have a breakdown situation. You can use it as like a night uh, light in your tent or next to your bed. I use it many, many times. And because it is uh, flexible, you can put it almost everywhere and it is waterproof. So it's a really, really great, great item. Unfortunately, I tried to find it uh, to find it in Amazon, but I couldn't. So I cannot really give you a link, guys. But if you find this stuff, buy it. It's just amazing. All right. Uh, I also have this small splitter, which is uh, actually... Uh, you, you plug it in the plug socket and you can split it to three different sockets because usually when you travel, especially around the third world countries, it will be a good luck if you find only one plug socket. But what about if I have all of these cameras to recharge with one plug socket? It's not going to work. That's why I have this. It's, it's very light, handy and very, very practical tool. This one, it's a water tester. Uh, it is actually present to me from my father. <laughs> he said uh, to take one of these because you're always going everywhere. Just at least test the water you are drinking. So what you actually do, you just uh, drop it in the glass of water and after a couple of seconds, it shows you here on the display, is it the water good or not? I always have it with me and make these experiments. And I have to say that uh, many times I'm, I'm, I'm really surprised. This is a small power bank. I use it to recharge my telephone or uh, cameras in, if I have to. It is good to, to recharge it at least once. I also have another one bigger, but not always take it with me. Uh, it's a simple multi-tool. I don't need to explain you about what it is. Very practical, easy, from, made from uh, aluminum. I always, always have it with me. I also have a bigger knife like this in the case I need it. Uh, here are my cameras. I actually got four cameras with me. I'm not gonna review it now because I'm gonna make another one detailed uh, video about the camera and the mics and I, everything I use in my trips. It will be more in depth with everything I have with me to film the trips you have seen already. So I have a point and shoot camera and I also got uh, four different uh, cameras with me. Here are all the mics, adapters, and all connectors, everything I'm gonna need. Also, I, I keep it in, in this small plastic bag. This is my uh, contour uh, waterproof housing in the case I, I need to write in, in the rain. Self stick, I don't need to explain about what it is. And here in this small bag, I have one uh, tablet. Actually, it's a very old tablet. Uh, it's, uh, I use it for many years. It is cracked, as you can see. But anyway, it still works, that's why I keep it. The simplicity is what I need. And here I can plug easily one of the SD cards I'm recording at the moment and then connect to internet and upload it immediately in uh, YouTube. And it saves me a lot of time and uh, hassles just to, to upload videos. This is how I upload actually my uh, updates while, while I'm traveling. The reason I'm still having this tablet is because the display is uh, a little bigger, but you can you can make it with your telephone, smartphone. Uh, I'm planning to buy another one smartphone just, just for that purpose, to upload the videos on YouTube because the tablet is already very old. The processor is not so good. But anyway, I don't want to make it with my telephone because the, if the telephone in some, in some case just break down, I will be live without any connection with the family. And as you know, the telephone is very important. Anyway, uh, on the side of that, I've got all of my contacts, everybody who I need to meet on the road. I have it on the telephone, but I also have it in the pr printed version like this. So, so I'm a bit um, old fashioned guy. So I prefer to have everything written in the case I, I lose my telephone. And of course, a lot of stickers for everyone who I'm going to meet on the road. 
as you know i just give it as a present so basically this is everything now i'm going to show you how all of this fit in my tank bag all right so first is the the waterproof cover as i said i make it like this small and then keep it in one of the side pockets on the same pocket i also keep the the medical gloves here and i still have space in the case i need to to add something else right on the bottom on the back is my wind stopper my medical gloves and then here in one of the sides it's the tablet cables waterproof housing cameras four different cameras my point and shoot camera ready on the top to take it out at every every moment the jar with the stuff the cables and everything uh, this is actually the power bank mm, the flashlight i keep it in one of the front pockets here just to be able to take it out at every every moment the two knives, the multi-tool and the knife, I keep it here on the left side. Easy to access it if I need it. Plug socket, splitter, water tester, self stick, hat on the top if, if I need it. And here I keep the, the documents on that pocket and the stickers. And sometimes I keep the stickers here under, under the map as, as well. So all of this is easy accessible at any time and weight no more than five kilograms. Well, now you know what I have with me. No more secrets. The next video is going to be about my camera gear, mic and all adapters I always have with me and film the videos. Don't forget to subscribe because a lot of interesting videos are just about to come. As usual, thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Ciao.